Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park West, the Fall Turf Festival. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're going to take a look at Sunday's races. We have 10 of them. Let's look at those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, the turf course firm. Our first race is seven furlong sprint. This is starter optional claimer. Phillies and Mass three year olds and up, which have started for a claiming price of $6,250 or a claiming price of $10,000. Favorite in the race, number one, Courtney Ryan. And they're up. Last in, first out, never lovelier gets the first call and goes looking for the lead. Our girl, She Gone, is quickly up to challenge. And the first rate favorite, Courtney Ryan, is away in good shape. In fact, she's up near the lead as they run out of the seven furlong shoot. So it will be Courtney Ryan to take it to Our Girl, She Gone. They've opened up three lengths on Never Lovelier, who races in third now. A length better than Dreamcastle, who's fourth, followed by Rapid Distinction in fifth. Two lengths back to Nagwita, second last, and Be Happy Alex is last as they went through the initial quarter in 22 and four. Our Girl, She Gone on the outside. Courtney Ryan on the inside. Their heads apart with less than half a mile to go. They kick past the half mile pole, five in front of Never Lovelier and Dreamcastle. Nagwita rides the inside for Edgar Zayas, two and a half better and be happy Alex and rapid distinction is last of all as they run around the far turn at the three furlong point they went through the opening half mile in 46 and 2 our girl she gone she puts away Courtney Ryan for the time being who will have to recharge from the outside never lovelier is three wide and chiming into it in front of Dreamcastle who's fourth back fifth is Nagwita and they're at the top of the stretch Courtney Ryan rebids on the outside she'll have to deal with never lovelier who's set to the attack second two lengths back to Dreamcastle third with an eighth of a mile to go Courtney Ryan Ryan is all heart. She's pulling out everything she has, and she has the lead again. Never Lovelier is second. Down the outside, Nagwita toward the inside, Dreamcastle. But here's 19 career victories for Courtney Ryan. First race favorites, a winner by two and a half. Second, Never Lovelier. Third was on the outside, Nagwita, then Dreamcastle, and Be Happy Alex in 125 and two. Number one, Courtney Ryan scores for IAB Stables, trained by Tamara Levy and ridden to victory today by Abdel Hayen. Race number two is a maiden claiming event for maiden two-year-olds. We'll have seven runners going to the post. The off-time favorite, number five, Adorante. Ready? And they're up. From the inside, Dr. Cool wins the break and goes looking for the early lead. Phil's Comprise moves to challenge Sea Warrior on the outside. And at Tarante from between horses, it's a slow early pace. In between horses on the hit list is moving closer. He's within two of the top and continuing to progress toward the rail burning wild. And at the back of the pack, the trailer is Royal Legend. But he's only three and a half off the lead as the pace is a slow one as they go past the half mile pole. Sea Warrior takes the lead by a neck to Dr. Cool in second. On the hit list is down inside and trying to secure inside position. He'll have to tap on the brakes. At Toronto, close enough if good enough from fourth. Royal Legend on the outside, then down toward the inside, Burning Wild, and at the back, Phil's Comprise. Around the far turn at the 5 16th, Sea Warrior goes on the offensive after a quarter that went in 23 and 2. On the hit list, now chirped along by Castillo. He's up into second now. Adorante needs to do better from there at 3 to 5 on the inside, and Dr. Cool, and they're at the top of the stretch. It's Sea Warrior on top by two and a half lengths. To the attack is on the hit list. Adorante now begins to find his best stride. He's coming at him and coming on. Here's Adorante on the outside getting to the lead toward the inside sea warrior is second then it's on the hit list who now will get into second adorante is a winner at three to five by two. Second was on the hit list it's close third between sea warrior and phil's comprise number five adorante scores for magic stables llc trained by antonio sano ridden to victory today by our leading rider edgar zayas We'll take a short break and be back for the third race in just a couple of moments. Point of entry's taking the lead. Point of entry has defeated Animal Kingdom by a length and a half. Real Solution continues to attack on the outside. A wild finish coming here and point of entry. Oh, the classy point of entry would not be denied. Point of entry. A five-time grade one winner by Sire of Sire's Dynaformer. New for 2014 at Adina Springs. Watch world-class horse racing while dining on scrumptious world-class cuisine. Gulfstream Park features one of South Florida's most popular culinary destinations in Ten Palms. 
Located on the second floor of the clubhouse, Ten Palms features creative American dishes and daily specials overlooking beautiful Gulfstream Park. Enjoy delicious seafood and the finest in organic beef, whimsical desserts, and daily food and drink specials, all while taking in a breathtaking view of world-class racing. For a delicious afternoon of mouth-watering culinary delights, come to Gulfstream Park. Welcome back. Our third race, six furlongs. These are three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Seven runners going to the post. And they're up. More debt was off last. Tony Tile wins the break. Forge is up the challenge. Steadfast Cat from down toward the inside from the high draw Monster Brook. They're all lining up out here. The two trailers are on the outside. Winter's coming and on the inside, more debt. Now they start to sort themselves out, and the leader inside is Steadfast Cat, three parts of a length from Tony Tile in second. Monster Brook is third with Ararat between horses fourth. Forged is fifth. Second last is Mordet, but he's on the improve now, and trailing the field as winter's coming. They move into the far turn after an old robust opening quarter of 22 and 3. On the outside, here's Monster Brook from between them. Tony Tile on the inside, Steadfast Cat. Ararat is asked to do more by Eddie Martin racing fourth. Forged is underway. Forged is three wide, but chiming into it. He's He's into third now. Mordet is not offering a stretch charge, and Winter's Coming is trailed throughout, and they're at the top of the stretch. Tony Tile cuts the corner with the race to win or lose. He'll have to deal with Forged. Forged traveling up very well on the outside, not a challenge for the lead. Back third is Monster Brook down the outside. Mordet with a minor rally with an eighth of a mile to go. On the outside, Forged has Forged to the front. Tony Tile is game and cut kicks back at him second. Forged and Tony Tile. Tony Tile's coming back. Forged waiting around. It's photo time. Too close to call. It's either Tony Tile inside who battled bravely or forged on the outside in 113 and 1. Number four, Forge gets the close photo and scores for Guyana Rocky LLC, trained by Randy Prasad, ridden to victory today by Shamir Mirage. And in the winner's circle, it is our owner of the month, Cross Sabres Farm. Fourth race, one mile on the turf. These are three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races, or three-year-olds, scratch the five, champagne chic, scratch the 10, tail white. And they're up. From the outside, Garabato wins the break and goes looking for the lead. P.O.'s Passion will move with him toward the inside and trying to challenge Mr. Brown-Eyed Guy. Mr. Brown-Eyed Guy now takes the lead. Garabato is there second. Ben Jacob is now third. It's two and a half lengths to Fancy Henry, an all-star to his inside, followed by Son of Sparta and P.O.'s Passion. And the Gray Cathedral is last of all as they bend into the first turn. They're chasing the speed of Mr. Brown-Eyed Guy, who leads it a length and a quarter. From the three wide side, Ben Jacob is now a joint second with Garabato between horses third. Fancy Henry races in fourth, the next better than All-Star, who's fifth to the inside. Three parts in front of Pio's Passion. Then comes Son of Sparta, and Cathedral was last after the opening quarter went in 23 and 2. Toward the inside, Mr. Brown-Eyed Guy continues to lead. He's trading blows with Ben Jacob on the outside and Garabato from up between them. Two lengths back to Fancy Henry. He's to the outside of an inside running all-star. Then it's Son of Sparta. Held up nicely here for Leandro Gonsalves. A neck better than Pio's Passion. And Cathedral was last, but creeping closer as they run around the far turn. With the lead now, Garabato leads by a head. Mr. Brown-Eyed Guy tries to stay with him second. Fancy Henry has All-Star bottled up, so All-Star has no place to go. Have to wait for room with P.O.'s Passion and Son of Sparta next, and they're at the top of the stretch. With the lead now, Fancy Henry gets away and leads it by a length and a quarter. P.O.'s Passion Cathedral. All-Star muscles his way to the inside, and Boca Chica has clear passage for him. Cathedral on the outside. Fancy Henry's almost home. All-Star trying to overcome that stretch trouble. Here's All-Star at Fancy Henry. All-Star getting up. All-star in time. Fancy Henry, second, close third, son of Sparta, or P.O.'s passion. Number two, all-star, the favorite wins for Cross Sabres Farm, LLC, trained by Marcus Vitali and ridden by Orlando Boca Chica. And in the winner's circle, it's our trainer of the month, sponsored by Ten Palms. That's Marcus Vitali. The fifth race, one mile main event, two year olds, scratch to four, Casanova Way. And they're up.
was a level beginning. From the outside, Tiger of Wales begins the best and goes looking for the lead. Here's Mr. Romance moving to challenge a bit wide in the early run as Arecibo. So they sort themselves out chasing the speed of Mr. Romance. He leads it by a length and a half. A Tiger of Wales is now racing second. Arecibo is third. Toward the inside, your dreams are mine. Four wide but comfortable early as Juan and Bina racing now about three behind. It's two to Honor Earn. To Honor Earn's outside is Rimbaud. Two and a half in front of Saraguaro. Then it's a length and a half to Bawana Dance. And Drimmer drops back to trail as they bend into the back stretch. The opening quarter comfortable enough. 24 and four. And Mr. Romance is 14 to one and three parts of a length in front. Tiger of Wales is in between horses well. Second on the outside and third is Juan and Bina. Then it's your dreams or mine. To his outside is Arecibo. Honor earned his mid-flight about six behind. Rimbaud is next with Saraguaro and Bawana Dance and Drimmer is still far back. Still anybody's race with less than half a mile to go. They kick to the far turn. From between horses, Tiger of Wales trying to quicken up to keep his spot on the outside and Juan and Bina now right alongside. Juan and Bina takes the lead. Second is Tiger of Wales. Arecibo is now third. Honor earned is working forward from fifth. He's now fourth, now third and charge charging at the leader. Also putting in a run is Saraguaro and they're at the top of the stretch. Juan and Bina and Edgar Prado are in front. Honor earned is about six wide but with momentum on the outside. Also coming on is Saraguaro with an eighth of a mile to go. Honor earned trying to get back. Juan and Bina who's a tough customer on the inside kicking back for more inside the 16th pole. Honor earned on the outside. Juan and Bina on the inside. Juan and Bina kicks gamely. Juan and Bina. First time starter, a winner, Gamely, over Honor Earned second, Saraguaro third, and Your Dreams Are Mine fourth, and 140 and one. First time starter, number 11, Juan and Bina wins it for Grupo 7C Racing Stable, trained by Gustavo Delgado, and ridden to victory today by Edgar Prado.